ladies and gentlemen, jam your hands together as we welcome Ima Bon Ari. Praise the Lord, somebody. I celebrate you, daddies in the house. I celebrate Minister Day Sachs. Thank you for the privilege. I celebrate all the ministers in the house and I celebrate every one of you seated here. You are amazing. I bring greetings from the redeemed Baptist Church. Thank you very much. So you know I love doing my teams on a coded level. Did Jesus die on the cross on the coded level? Oh, praise is not my theme, but you know it. I'm not the praising type. Did Jesus tell you that he was the dying type? Look, I know praise can be done in a silent environment. Still, I'll tell you what the master of the universe said in this verse. Praise the Lord with the sound of trumpets. Praise him with cymbals and dance. Praise him with the psaltery and harps. Oh, clap your hands, all your people, and shout unto God with the voice of triumph. And this outnumbers the place of silence in the scripture. So at this point, I dare ask you, what is your reason and motivation behind praise? Because like a wise man once said, when the purpose of a thing is not known, abuse is inevitable. I praise God because my fiance, my parents, my siblings, they do so. I praise God because I don't want to be among the incarcerated problems of this nation. Nice. Well, if you would ask me, my praise is dependent on the outfit of the choristers and the calibers of people that are going to grace the occasion. It's that so. Praise. It's not in the clarity of the vocal leader. Neither is it in the rhythm of lines that emanates from the keyboard. Praise. It's not the award-winning voices of the choristers. Neither is it a time for you to look around for ladies to chike, hike, or psych. Praise is the unashamed expression of your love, admiration, respect, gratitude towards God through shouts, singing, bowing, clapping, rolling, prostration, irrespective of who is watching. Praise is the weapon given to you to amputate the devil and send him leaping helter-skelter. It is embraced that he is breaking every chains that held you bound and answering questions that deafen your curiosity. Praise is the attestation that you know what transpired at the courts of the priest, how the veil was torn from top to bottom, freeing you from the porches of ducks, dove, cheeks, and hawks. So you praise God because he's too God to be God. He that opens a door for you that not even the most possessed demon can shut. He created the heavens and the earth without pillars, day and night. And how he separated these two cannot be answered by astrologers. Why? Because he choked. I'm talking about the God who doesn't need the permission of any demon suffering from Kwashok or Machocho to bless you. Neither is he bounded by the condition of any dirty, ugly, malnourished demon. Yes, he's got the name, the name that sends principalities and powers into perplexity and the blood that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. Have you met with Agune Chamber One, the one who roars and guards the city? Unlike the devil who imitation is his limitation. I know of seven oceans that exist in the world, but no, he chose your belly to flow rivers of living water. Who are you that he is mindful of? The God that finances what your fiancé cannot oversee and performs miracles without collecting over. The way he provides illumination to that situation that wants to cause frustration is something that is beyond human comprehension. The way he, God, provides illumination to that situation that wants to cause frustration it's something that is beyond human comprehension. Is it the way he retains and sustains you so that you can attain an ultimate
attitude while he walks on your attitude again I ask who are you that he is mindful of he has many men at his disposal but no he chose to dispose himself on the cross for the sake of love as if love was a crime just so he could oppose the works of darkness praise I concur is the unashamed expression of your love admiration gratitude respect towards God through shouts singing bowing irrespective of whether that's your fiancé that cannot finance what God oversee its present or not I wouldn't know how you define an ingrate but in concise and precise terms an ingrate is you or maybe you <laughs> how about you who would after now use shyness storms of life challenges as a reason for not giving God praise that is due him thank you